Hey guys, so plan today is to kind of go over some kind of cool things you can put on your website. Those are going to be the mortgage calculator, the connect widget, which is kind of like a chat box, as well as a, a lead form. So if you were to guide somebody to a landing page or a page on your website, they can go in there, fill out the form, all that info comes in, and then you give them some automated marketing. So as far as what we're, we're talking about here, it's going to be based off of your website. So in this case, if maybe somebody clicked on a section of your site, as people are filling stuff out, we obviously want that to go right into the CRM. With the automation, we can make sure that they're already put on certain campaigns. Best practice is typically some more general marketing like holidays, birthdays, monthly newsletter type stuff, as well as maybe the new lead campaign. So with that, as a lead comes in, maybe hit them with a text and an email, uh, day one, day two, something else, day three, just kind of follows the list. We do have tutorials on how to get this all set up. And just while we're here, if you go to training and support, uh, we got the training sessions. And actually tomorrow we're covering the marketing basics. So if you want to learn more about that, best resource here. Yeah, that, that's kind of the idea. Putting forms on your site, you can have different ones for different pages. So you got all the different pages on your site. So you could have a different form for each. When a client goes in, hit submit, you're going to see them in the database. So we got this, this new lead that just popped in. We got them on certain campaigns automatically with our automated triggers. And then from there, as you're communicating, of course, you can keep track of everything. But that's kind of the idea with web forms is collecting leads, making sure we're getting in front of them with marketing, and then, of course, tracking the communication from there. As far as how to turn that on, options. Your web forms manager is basically how you would create this form. So web forms manager, you hit add mortgage form because we want to put those contacts into the mortgages or borrower database. You'd call it whatever you want to call it, lead form. You can look at these parameters. I mean, depending on where the form is on your page or if it's on a landing page, you might put them in a specific bucket or group in your database. Yeah, everything could be put here. Really just a matter of adding in the fields that you want them to fill out. First name, last name, email, phone number, all the standard stuff, but really any field that you want to collect is available. From there, you select a design template. This is more for a landing page. If it's on your website, it'll just be the form kind of like this. Let me pull up an example of the landing page here. This is another example as far as using the design template that you can have that should populate all your info too but that should really be everything you literally just copy and paste the coding that we give you when you hit submit yeah you should have your form on the site i'm going to move to the next item which is the chat we call it connect basically the same thing indicating what you want them to fill out and you can put it on specific pages on your site. You have a few parameters there, but when they fill this out, it starts the chat and you can get notifications on your Be In Touch mobile app saying, hey, whatever the message is, then you respond back and forth. Cool thing is everything is tracked on the client's record. All of the notes are gonna be back and forth. You hit add, kind of does that. Another way is via text. So you can have it go right to your phone and that's just another way to communicate back and forth. If they're not already in the database, it will create a new lead too, which is nice because they are technically filling out a, a quick form first. As far as how that's done, pretty much the same spot under options, connect widget. And it's actually very similar. Uh, you hit set up chat widgets, call it whatever, depending on the page maybe that they're on or what, what website you're using it on. You can indicate what pages it's on. So maybe just the home page or maybe a pricing page, whatever the case. And then from here, just a few more. You hit save. It gives you all the coding. And same thing with the web form manager. You copy and paste it on the website 
and it pretty much tackles it for you. All the coding should be there, and you can decide if you want it on the left or right or however. It's all included. So this is all under your options tab, so you should see it right now. You're in there. Connect widget and the web form manager. The only additional would be if you're actually using our website. We offer a few examples here. This is one. There's a few. Actually, we'll cover where that is too. That's going to be under the options as well. And then website manager, if you wanted to turn that on. Put your domain in, select a password, choose from a few options here. And that would basically give you everything you need to start with that. We have a bunch of instructions and tutorials too on getting it up and running. But good news is it's it's pretty much set on a default level. So you don't have to change too much unless you want to, in which when you actually have the website, you can manage it all through this options section. You can use it on your own website. So yeah, have a website that's not connected with Be In Touch, really just a matter of copying the coding that it gives you. Once you adjust all the parameters and stuff that you'd like, you literally copy and paste it and that should work. Same goes with the mortgage calculator, which is the widget that we have currently. I'm sure we'll be working on some more, but this one, pretty self-explanatory. Anybody that goes to your site can adjust these different settings, does the calculation. Another one is in the mortgage circles app. So if your borrowers or partners wanted to download the app, same thing is going to be available here. Another place is the portal, which I guess is an extension of the mobile app. Yeah, same thing here. Pre-approval calculator, they can make it more advanced. With this, you don't have to put coding anywhere, or copy anything. It's just part of the portal that the borrowers can be invited to. But that all the options as far as what's shown on the portal, also in the options, borrower and partner portals. So you can decide what you want on there, but. And then as far as the, the actual calculator widget, it's gonna be in website widgets. Just like the other ones, you copy and paste the code, put it on any page of your site, should work. Thank you so much. And I appreciate everybody joining us and you'll see us on the third Wednesday of every month with a new topic. So check your email, social media for updates and thank you again. Yeah, thanks for jumping on. We do have tutorials on all this stuff. Actually a really good spot is just on our website, beintouch.com and then blog. It's gonna have all of our new features, got some how to's like here. So yeah, all this stuff is pretty much covered in a little more detail. So. Definitely check that out. Thank you for watching this training video. To learn more about the BN Touch CRM, please check out our YouTube channel.